In this review, I will be highlighting the transformation, special features, and other notables of the Engine Gatai Series No. 3 Engine Cargator from the 2008 Super Sentai Series Engine Sentai Guandra. Hey, this is AVUnit4A for CollectionDX.com. This is my seventh, count of my seventh, video review for CDX. Uh, once again, thank you very much for all the wonderful feedback that I've been getting on YouTube and on CDX. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm going to break this review down for Card Gator here a bit, a little, a little differently than I usually do. Uh, you know, I usually do this in one pass. What I'm going to do, the review for Card Gator is going to be broken down into three separate videos. All three of them will be attached to YouTube and to uh, the, the the reviews uh, on CDX. So in order to see the whole thing, you're going to have to see all three videos because I'm not going to stretch this out to 20 minutes or whatever it is, okay? I'm trying to avoid that. So um, first off, we're going to start out with just Cargator. Engine Cargator is the sixth. Right here you can see the number in here, number six. He's engine number six, even though it's part of... Uh, even though Cargator is uh, Engine Gatai Series number three a box sets, which started with Engine Burka, and, and uh, which was number one, and then Engine Gunford, which was number two, Cargator is number three. So easy enough to remember. Uh, posability is well, Cargator is all flat. He rolls around. Uh, really notable, no, bleh, notable thing is the head can twist around a bit, like a real. Um, it was a tractor trailer. Cargator, in case you're too lazy to look up the review on CDX, is a combination between an alligator and uh, um, what's it called? A car carrier. You know, those things you see carrying new cars between the manufacturer and the, the sales lots, whatever it is. That's what Cargator is supposed to be. He's a combination of those two things. Um, yeah, so he can roll around. He's got 14 wheels, six on the back, six there, which is 12. 13, 14, and then he's got another one sitting right there. Uh, you'll notice right here uh, that uh, the Gunbur-O, I'm not going to say Gunbaru, that's not how I'm going to say it. I'm going to say Gunbur-O. Gunbur-O's head, or helmet, is stored right here. Uh, easy way you can remember how to put it back on, if you look carefully, I don't know how else it's going to show up on film. If you look carefully, you'll see the face of uh, was it engine OG6. Now, the reason you've got that planted on there is so that you can dig the head and position it correctly in there, like so. And it just fits on there with friction. So, uh, there's another wheel, a uh, little tiny wheel sitting right here. Why? I don't know. So, you know, whatever. Okay, I'll be showing you how his engine sole works now. next. We all know it. We all love it. They all act exactly the same. They all look the same, except for coloring and displays. Now, the interesting thing about Cargator, which is different from the other engine souls, or from the other DX deluxe size engines, is usually you put them in the back side. Well, in this case, you don't put it in the back side. You put it, yeah, in the front. There's pretty cool details, like the little tongue and some extra teeth in here. I like that. Uh, the uh, mouth locks just in this one position, otherwise it's free-flowing all the way. So, stick this in, and... Light comes out from there, obviously. Make things simple, push that in, push that. Okay. Uh, the activation buttons. Now, usually, with previous uh, engines, you know, the, the character based sound effects were on the right side, and then the generic sound effect, generic, you know, one size fits all sound effects were on the left side. Well, no, they're actually reversed now because the engine soul was put in backwards compared to the others. So now your activation for character sounds are over here. His name? Geto Geto. All the engines of Machine World repeat um, a few syllables of their of their names. In this case, he repeats the last two. Geta, Gator. No idea what that means. Someone tell me, please. No idea what that means. Somebody please tell me. Those are the four uh, basic sound effects. And then there's the other two. Go on. And that's it for those. Of course, as with Engine Burka and Engine Gunford, you can press one and then use the other.
Oops. Sorry. I think that's a new one. I'm not sure what he's in. Nope, that's not new. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah, that's the new one you can only access by pressing both buttons at the same time. Uh, I have no idea what he's saying there, so um, somebody will have to tell me uh, what he means there. So that's three phrases. I've written them down on the on the CDX review. What I think they might be, uh, because ironically, I found them on a different web. I, I found them on a different uh, uh, review somewhere else online. But I'm not certain if those are the correct ones. If those are the correct pronounce uh, uh, correct translations. So please tell me, because I don't know Japanese. So frustrating. Linking up with Burka and Gunford. Okay, now you're probably asking yourself, hey Ava, why is he so flat across the top? And you said that he was a car carrier. Well, you know what? He is indeed a car carrier because he can carry engine Burka, hey amigos, and engine Gunford. Gun, gun, gun! Can't believe I just did that. Oh well. Um, you know, usually, you know, they roll up the back and then. Unfortunately, the way this thing works, you can only just set them up on top like that. I mean, it's it's so close. I mean, you got Gunford's nose. He's a dog, of course, right up Burka's... Yeah, well, I won't go there. Anyways, um... Yeah, so that's the... The connections between these guys are pathetic. I mean, it, it rolls around so easily. And I'm not talking about Cargator, either. Uh, the connection... Uh, the, the, the joint here fits into this slot here. And the same thing with uh, Gunford, the slot here just fits across the top here. I mean, the wheels don't even grip anything, which is the really pathetic stuff. I could do that all day. So anyways, yeah, it's nice that he has, uh, you know, you can set them on top like that, but uh, I don't know. This ends video part one. To continue on to the, with the review for the, uh, was it the engine Gatai Gunbur-O, you'll have to continue on to the next video.